everybody I just wanted to make a quick video about what we can learn about augmented reality interfaces within virtual reality environments and in general what we can learn as spatial designers or UX UI designers in terms of how to design these experiences in our simulations or applications and obviously even games or simulators so right now I'm in Contractors, which is technically it's a VR game. Uh, it's not competitive mil -sim, military simulator like Onward. Now to the visuals. The visuals in Contractors is also unique because whenever I load my menu, as you can see, my menu is full augmented reality inside VR, just like in real life. For example, when I'm using my controller lens and I go with my heads up display it doesn't matter what the main what is the menu that I'm seeing right now in real life whenever I go to a wall you can see that maybe feels a little weird but my heads up display is constantly over everything in my environment in onward I will show you how menus in in-game feels like so I don't have much in onward this is the only menu the button that will show and menus in Onward actually are very, very weird because as you can see, if I approach to this uh, thing, it's trying to actually place the menus in behind, which is weird because right now if I'm standing here, I can see the menu, I can't even see the menu and I can't, I can't interact with it. So that, that feels weird and uh, sometimes it shows you some stuff at the beginning of the match, uh, like the, your mission and stuff. If you're standing in front of the wall, you won't see this. You won't see anything at all this is a good example as you can see the menu is there but i can't even see it so that's that's a bit problematic these are two different approaches of how to design heads up displays and also menus within vr and also ar because we can in augmented reality and mixed reality actually map the environment um, basically just like iphone slider does you can get a mesh of real environment just like you've seen in maybe in Magic Leap and Microsoft HoloLens demos. Uh, the glasses are actually aware of the physical environment. But eventually, if you have some uh, huge uh, heads up displays, uh, you might want to enable the user to actually be able to take this one and pin it to the wall. I'm talking about reality, so let's say that this, this environment uh, is real life. Like you should be able to take a menu and pin it to the wall or to the ceiling or to the floor but the advantage of AR is that I can actually go and take the screen with me and if I have some patient here I can actually treat the patient and see his medical vitals on above him so that's that's the design approaches we should be aware of and know when to use what the immersion of having a full body which I'm really fan of. Now, obviously, you can go to settings, choose to have hands only. This is, this has obviously its own benefits because you don't get the body interrupting your visuals. Uh, because sometimes inverse kinematics in VR is not perfect. So, if I go ahead and enable full body inverse kinematics, you can see that now in my uh, real life environment the lighting you know, from the ceiling is not perfect so as you can see in my right hand inverse kinematics is not working perfect because the camera tracking my hand movements is not doing a good job of uh, calculating uh, where my hand is really is so there is a slight deviation on the other hand <laughs> playing with words here on the other hand uh, my left hand here is working perfectly so uh, picking out my nose hole in the quest I can see that the hand movement is pretty accurate and everything other than contractors you don't have full arms in verse kinematics so for onward it's actually very immersive because eventually you feel like in terms, in terms of spatial design and uh, user experience you feel like this virtual vest is actually on my body because right now I'm touching my real body and yes it's I, I hate it when there is no arms 
but eventually I'm very focused in the simulator which means that if something if, so, if someone is actually running in front of me nothing will interrupt my view only my gun so I'm actually very immersed and focused on the target target oh, nice shot anyways that's the two different approaches that you can actually use in simulators okay let's talk about inventory now the inventory on onward is similar to what we have in other games if you ever played half-life alex you probably will recognize this inventory when i'm holding my primary weapon the magazines that i can pull out of my vest are constantly and always the max for the primary weapon that i'm holding so if i'm gonna take for example the desert eagle the magazines that i will pull out of my way my vest will be contextual to the secondary weapon that i'm holding so once again if i go back and get rid of the clip from the mk18 the magazine i will pull from the vest is for mk18 now this has some pros and this has some cons because whenever I, I'm in the battle, for example, and I'm shooting and the mag is out, I don't have to look down to my vest in order to pull the new magazine. I can simply grab it from the location on my hip that I know that, that the magazine is stored. So that's the advantage. The con is that I cannot hold my primary and my secondary in the same at the same time. For example, I want to pull uh, and hold my MK18 and then go ahead and take my secondary, which is the Desert Eagle. I cannot do that. On contractors, on the other hand, you can hold both your primary and the secondary, and it's fine because they don't have this game mechanic system when the magazines you are pulling out of your vest are contextual to the weapon you are holding in your hand. Again, depends on the pros and cons because you can hold both weapons in your hands, but you don't have contextual magazine pulling. So sometimes in a battle you find yourself out of ammo with your primary weapon, and sometimes when you grab a magazine from your hip or your vest, you will pull the wrong magazine which is very problematic in terms of life and death because sometimes enemy killing me because I accidentally pulled the pistol magazine for the rifle so you will waste precious seconds in finding the right magazine and it's dis disorienting and uh, frustrating so everything has its own cons and pros Okay guys, that's all.